Yo, what's happening, y'all? It's your man, Valentine, baby. Coming in from on the grind. Man, I know we can't give it to you outside, man. The, um, um, I'm looking outside, man. It don't look good right now. So it's about to go down inside. So we're gonna have to give it to you inside until we can get back outside. We don't know when that's gonna be. But anyway, look here. You know, racism is everywhere, man. And I know every day I come on and we, this is all we've been talking about. There's, there's plenty of things, other things that, sh that we can talk about, but you know what? The number one factor is racism. And we're dealing with two global pandemics. One, the virus, and one, the global pandemic of racism because it stems all across the world, not just in North America, not just in Vancouver, not just in BC, but in Canada. You feel what I'm saying? United States. So, as we can see, this is a global problem. And somehow the, um, I don't know if I, I don't know if Americans or or realizing that there's there is a racism problem because they've never had to go through any types of racism. They've never had to defend the color of their skin. They've never had to to um, integrate high schools, neighborhoods. You don't get thrown out of a neighborhood because you're white. You're accepted into the neighborhood. You feel me? So, I mean, nobody puts a cross on your lawn and burns it because you move into the neighborhood. In Hollywood, there's still racism going on. I mean, my man, Leslie David Baker, the dude, I think it's Uncle Stan from, um, from The Office, right? So he's, uh, he's doing a, a spinoff, calling it Uncle Stan. And, and yet people are sending him death threats and racist death threats. I mean, because he's going to do a spinoff of this show. What's with that? I mean, you see, this is the point what I'm saying. White folks, you, 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 have, you can't deny that racism exists, nor that your forefathers was the one that brought black people to North America and to, to the United States. And, and now, I mean, it shouldn't even be happening, but yet it's happening. I mean, all this dude wants to do is he wants to do a spinoff. And yet he's getting racist uh, death threats or just death threats and racist uh, emails and things like that. You know, I mean, come on, man. That's just ridiculous. And, and it's whack. You people got to stop denying the fact that 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 racism exists and pay attention that racism exists. And look at what's happening. Look at I me. Mean, look at the president. I mean, he's trying to he's trying to use Martin Luther uh, Martin Luther King, um, where he says, "You shouldn't be the no person should be judged by the color of their skin, and only by their character." He doesn't even know what that means. I mean, you've got to go and read Martin Luther King's books or speeches to understand what he means by that, because he doesn't understand it. Because one, he's never had to be judged for the color of his skin. And two, he ain't, he doesn't have no character. So, I mean, come on, man. You can't be doing none of that. This is what I'm saying. You can't, you have to pay attention and stop denying the fact that racism exists. And it is all over because even in Hollywood, because listen, we know that certain black folks don't get job because of their color. And they always look for somebody else who's white. I mean, you can't play, you, you get to play Michael Jackson. Why can't you get a brother to play Michael Jackson? This was a while ago. 
I mean, they had to get some white dude playing Michael Jackson. I mean, come on, man. That's just silliness. So, people, we've got to stop denying the fact and pay attention that racism exists, and it exists in America, it exists in Canada, and it's a global pandemic. You feel what I'm saying? So, do not let it pass you by by not saying anything. Remember, I said silence is not an option. And, I mean, this is just something crazy. I know Barbados is... Uh, is, uh, um, is wanting to release the queen from her duties because they want to become a, uh, their own democratic uh, republic. They, only, they want to become a republic, man. So they want to take the queen off everything and relieve her ever duties. Hey, okay. They become their own nation, you know? I mean, Barbados, I think, has been... I don't think they've really done anything, used the queen for anything, you know? So, good for them. And we want to make it happen. So I think it's a, it's a good thing. And then, people, we know November 3rd is, is voting day. And it's the democratic right to vote in a democratic society. It's your obligation, it's your duty to make sure you vote for the president of the United States. You have to vote in this election. And the, um, the sheer fact that I know that black people, sometimes we, we think that our vote does not count. But this is a time for black people to step up and show really that our vote counts. And because we have to remember that September 18th is, is um, the black, black, black democratic vote, no, black voters day. It's black voters day on September 18th. You feel me? So. There is no reason for us to vote. Listen, John Lewis, Martin Luther King Jr., Medgar Evers, Thurgood Marshall, Harriet Tugman, Rosa Parks, everyone that suffered for people, black people, to get the right to vote. So you cannot let these people down. You cannot let yourself down. You've got to show your children that there comes a time where you've got to step up. And this is the time. Because September 18th is Black Voters Day. So people, you've got to show up and make your vote count in November. So if you got to vote early, do what you got to do because you know they're trying to suppress your vote. So do not let it go by where you sit there and say, you know what? Nah, it didn't count. Yes, it will count. And you need to go ahead and get in and vote. Do what you got to do, man. I don't care if, it, if you got to get your mail-in ballots, get it early and let it go and mail it early. You know what I mean? So do not let that day pass you by. We need to vote like our life depends on it because it does. And remember that you need to get out and vote for Biden Harris to change what is going on right now because Biden Harris will unify the country. What Trump is trying to do is unconstitutional you know what I mean he's trying to divide the entire country right now and as <laughs> I don't know man I, I truly people we cannot we, we cannot let this go and and not get out there and vote
So make sure you do the right thing on, on uh, November, in November. And also, like I said, September 18th is Black Voters Day. So do not let this thing pass you by and do not let these people who work so hard to, to make sure that we can vote, we have the right to vote, do not let them down and do not let your, your, your family down. You know what I mean? Get out and vote. Vote Biden-Harris in 2020. You feel me? So, and remember y'all, we still going through this pandemic. And I, like I said before, at the beginning, we got, you know, there's a, we going through two pandemics, man. The virus and the pandemic of racism. Because the virus does not discriminate. Only the pandemic of racism does. So people, and as Kamala Harris says, racism has no vaccine. So we've got to do what we got to do to hang in there until we get one. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you wear your mask. Make sure you social distance, hand sanitize, wash your hands, stay out of the big crowds. Do what you got to do to save lives, save your life and your family's life and everybody else around you. You feel me? So make sure you handle your business. Yo, I'm your man Valentine, baby. And if you think it's your time to shine, you need to get on the grind with your man Valentine.